Stay tuned for Airgun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and I'm glad to be back doing reviews again, that's for sure. Hey, today we're going to bring you something special. We're going to bring you Grav magazines. Have you guys ever heard of Grav, as in Gravity magazines? i got a few versions here. These uh, come from a company called Additive. They're out of the UK. And James there, the owner of the company, he was nice enough to send me these magazines to test. Before we get started on this, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you hadn't. Also, don't forget to check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. i got a bunch of t-shirts there. Um, I'm starting to liquidate some of my own air guns, so they'll be on there. In addition to that, my Generation 2 bipods are out. In fact, I apologize for those of you who are looking for them. My first shipment came in, and they were gone within a blink of an eye. But I have plenty more coming, and when they get here, I'm going to put out a new review video just based on those and talk about the upgrades and... The fact is they're the only air gun bipods designed for brake barrels out there, the only ones that exist. Anyway, we'll get into those. So let's get back to these uh, magazines. So now these magazines, they're designed for these Crossman rifles. Of course, here's my nice custom air gun detective ones that I got from the uh, Crossman custom design. Anyway, any of the platforms that have uh, the steel breech, they even actually make one for the plastic breach right here where they make a magazine set up for that but anyway any of these crossmen the 2240s the 2240 xl 2300s 2400s pretty much any of them that have the steel breach and when we talk about the steel breach we'll give you a, let me give you a close-up here this is what we're talking about is this steel breach right here because these magazines are going to attach to the 11 millimeter uh, rail mount here and i'll show you that process but the cool thing about these, there's a couple versions. These are all designed, in fact, let me uh, pull one out. We have the compact version. And these, I, I mean, will literally attach in seconds. And I'm going to go over all that with you guys. Uh, as soon as we're done talking here, I'm going to show you actually how to mount them, how quick it is. Literally within seconds, you can mount these. But uh, these are all done on a 3D printer. And they're just gorgeous. You can see here's where the 11 millimeter connection is right here with one little screw this is on the compact version and then it has these pellet tubes which are pretty pretty ingenious I have to say the pellet tubes go up inside like this and then you get to load your pellets in the top here close that up and uh, it feeds them in just with a gravity feed so you don't have any major mechanisms that you have to worry about falling apart on you and I'll show you how to set these up but anyway these magazines these are these are uh, five rounders. They'll hold five rounds. And we're pretty much just working on the 22 caliber. They do make them for .177 calibers. The only uh, issue with those are is you have to replace your probe. Your uh, It requires an extended probe for the 177. But in James's uh, packages, that comes included with it now, which is kind of nice. So anyway, the compact comes with two magazines. And when I talk, I have magazines or pellet tubes, as we should refer to. Pellet tubes, not the actual magazine, but the pellet tubes. Out of these little guys. It comes with two. comes with one that's a, a CR, and that's basically for the Crossman type pellets, because they have to be specific so the pellets fit in here nice and they're not um, feeding improperly. So these are designed specifically. Like this one, the CR, as I was talking about, for the Crossman Premier hollow points. It's good for the domed ones. The Benjamin hollow points, which are identical to the Premier hollow points, I've tried them in there. Those work just fine in there. And there's actually quite a few others. You'll just have to look on his website and it'll tell you all the compatible. And then it comes with a second pellet tube. And this one would be for your, your some of your JSBs, your RWSs, um, air arms, the RWS hobby, and if you fit the hobbies, you're probably going to get the Meister Kuglins. So there'll be quite a variety, but you can look on his website for the specifics on that. So that's the compact version. Then what we have here is the 9S, which is kind of one of my favorites because they actually hold nine shots. So, and this attaches, it's the same 3D printer setup, but these are gorgeous. The details on these are unbelievable. I mean, they're done so well. But you can see here's the 11 millimeter. Um, it's going to mount. These will mount actually in two spots, um, in front and behind the breech. 
and it's the same thing you just have a longer tube on here and this gives you three tubes for a variety of different pellets and like I said you can be specific for the type of pellets that you want on uh, you can go to his website on that and then again he's got also if you have a plastic breech now the 1322s as I showed this one this is the, you know your pump up one this 1322s that have a plastic breech I have a different setup on that and I'm not going to demonstrate this one uh, today but I will show you the others but it's it also attaches here so you can use it on this type or any other um, type of the Crossman product that has the um, plastic uh, breech set up there okay so as I said a moment ago, the greatest thing about these is they're gravity fed. So there's not a lot of mechanical issues for these to go, you know, for things to go along with. Uh, the, he makes them both in right and left hander. So you can either have, if you have a, a right handed breech or left handed breech, he makes them for both sides. Which on these I don't really see a whole combination. I'm a left hander and the right hander, the right handed breech seems to accommodate me much, much more. I'll put a link to the website down below so you guys will have easy access on these. Let's move on. What I'm going to do is in the next segment, I'm going to show you actually how to mount these on the gun. And then I'm going to demonstrate how they work. And then we're going to chat real quick and, and wrap it up. So hang on to the next segment. All right. Now I'm going to show you how easy these install. They really are a piece of cake. If you don't mind, I'm going to throw these on just so I don't pumble around. Now. If I don't forget, what I would suggest is you take a little Pell gun oil and make sure you lubricate the top of the probe here. Just because on this gravity fed magazine, they're going to kind of rest against the top here as the, as the pellets will um, drop in when the bolt comes back. So just put a little bit of Pell gun oil on the top of that. It makes for a, a nice smooth uh, operating system. Take your magazine. Take which pellet tube you're going to choose. We're just going to go with the CR. We're going to go the Crossman one. Right here. You can see there's this little um, kind of area right in this area. The spring's actually going to rest in there. So you want your spring to come in specifically in this area right here. So your spring is going to just drop right in there. This is what puts tension you'll see here this is what puts tension on top of the bolt all right so now you're going to want to take your allen wrench and make sure this is nice and flat and you want to push it towards the front opening of the breech so the opening here you want this magazine to go forward and then just simply tighten it up that's it it's in place you can test it here. See this as it goes down. And that's basically it. Then you're going to ask yourself, how do you load that? And that's where this comes into play. That's why you have this little Allen wrench. Because what you have is the little screw right here. You can adjust the tension of this plate. And this plate basically is just going to expose the pellet tube so you can drop your pellets in. And seriously, it's this easy. So you take your tube and you just do, make sure this is moved down to the bottom, just like that. And what you want to do is to kind of, you want to angle the skirt first, the skirt first, but these just drop right in, just like this. Drop right in. Make sure you guys can see this. Just like that. And then when you're done, you just flip this piece up. Just like that. And what that does, it keeps your pellets from coming out. But if you wanted to unload them, let's just simply flip this down. There's our pellets right there. It's that simple. Now, you ask yourself, is this going to have any effect on the optics? Nope. Because the optics will still go right down on here, just like this. And you can just tighten that up, whatever your position is. Okay. Let's go ahead and install the 9S version. Okay, now we're going to install the 9S. So, same thing, got your little help card in there. This one you have your three tubes, so for your uh, different variations of pellets. Like I said, you can go online and look at his website at the different pellets. 
but you'll be surprised as long as they have a pretty much the identical shape um, then they'll work in that specific tube okay then we get our actual magazine housing out of here and if you notice this one's just a little bit longer but it's the same principle however this one has two screws you're going to have two mounting screws on that so let's go ahead and set this one up and guess what i'm going to do this one with the scope still on it i'll just tell you if it's if you have a, the proper amount of room in there you can just set it up just like that okay once again magazine tube just like in the other one you want this on the side is designed for just like this can you see that okay and then we just simply are going to slide our magazine tube down in just like this so this magazine tube just drops in just like that and we have our spring set right there all right this we're going to put this one so the magazine comes out to the left side here and what you want to do is on these grooves make sure this thing snaps down there nice and tight just like that there we go I'm gonna lay it down just like this I'm keeping my finger down on it to keep it snug and then you just want to tighten these two Allen bolts right here get them snugged up because what you're doing is you're squeezing that frame against the 11 millimeter um, scope rail there just like that there we go okay just like this let's test it with our bolt yep it's going you can see this it goes up and down this one has the same little guide there and what you're going to do is you're going to adjust this one just like you did the other one just put a little bit of tension on it because you want just a little tension so this can this can slide back and forth. The whole idea is for this to cover your tube when you load up your pellets so they don't fall out. Once again, I'm going to show you how to load this. I like to go just have the skirt slightly lead when you're dropping these in and they just roll right on in. And when you're done, you just flip this up and you're ready to go. And they unload really, really easy. Same process, arm out of the way, down. You can just dump them out. See? nice and simple nothing to it okay so installation on that is very very easy seriously it takes within seconds if you notice it doesn't interfere with the scope at all or any one of your optics now he does if you want to shoot open sights on these some of these are set up it's going to be a little tall so he does sell some other sights that you can actually put on the gun if you're if you're the type that likes to shoot iron sights open sight type um, of a setup all right, let's uh, move on to the next segment. Let's show how well these work. Let me demonstrate why we like these grab magazines. I'm gonna show you how smooth they operate. Because you know the process when you're shooting, you're putting one pellet at a time, one pellet at a time. Well, it kind of slows your fun down. So let me show you how well these work. All right, let's start with, start with the top row. Oh yeah, green monster. Shotgun shell. Is that a bird? Little pig? Oh, a little white bottle. That's what's left of Darth Vader. And a pellet can. Now, that is just incredible to be able to shoot that quick. Um, it's kind of interesting. You know what else is kind of interesting is the way. Uh, Crossman set these up, and this isn't a pistol version. Um, the bolt's on the right-hand side. So normally, if you're a right-hander, you'd want the bolt on the left-hand side if you're shooting a pistol. Now on a rifle, um, when you shoot right-handed, you want the bolt on the right side, okay? However, this is set up in a carbine, and I'm shooting left-handed, so it's totally to my advantage, because I can leave my finger near the trigger and my hand on the grip, and then recock the gun, so a little advantage there. All right, let's go, go back and talk about this magazine. All right, so what do we think about the grab mags? Me personally, I think they're awesome. Think about this. They're really easy to install, so you don't have to alter the gun in any way. They're 
an inexpensive upgrade. They're not very expensive, depending on the accessories you choose. They work flawlessly. It's not overly a complicated system. There's not a whole lot of moving parts with this. So it's pretty flawless, to be honest with you. I think, uh, I think James did a really good job. I'm going to give them five stars on this, without a doubt. But you need to check out uh, his site. That's at www.airgun-parts.shop.co.uk. That's a mouthful. You see it across the bottom. I'll leave you a link so you guys can just click on it if you want to go there and check out his stuff. He's got other things, too. They've got sights. Like I said before, if you're one that likes to shoot open sights, he's got some sights that will go with the gun so you can still use the magazine and open sights. He's got trigger a trigger spring adjuster, which is kind of nice, creates the different tension on the trigger. Um, he's got tri-rails, and he also has an 11 millimeter uh, polymer uh, scope mount, which is actually pretty cool. So check out his site. Um, those are pretty cool items. So I want to thank him for sending us uh, these items just so we could view them. And that's what I try to do. If I see something interesting, if I can get a hold of the manufacturer or the owner or whoever, and can get us those items just so we can take a look at them. If I think there's something you guys are going to be interested in, I'm going to try to get it for you. Just just to mix this up so it's not just specifically guns. We're, we're going to look at accessories and other things as you guys know. So don't forget about my website, www.airgundetectives.com. It's not complicated. It's where I have these great t-shirts. I've got uh, some my bipod kits, which are coming soon. Look for that new video. It'll be out very, very soon because I'm expecting a big shipment within the next couple of weeks. Also, I'm liquidating some of my air guns on there, and I definitely put them on there at a really good price. And most of them are barely used, and I usually tune them or I upgrade them. So they're going to be more of a one-of-a-kind type of object. But when they're gone, they're gone, because it's not like I have a whole bunch of inventory of any of those things. I'm going to thank you guys again for tuning in to Air Gun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. I hope you're all doing well. Your families are good. Everybody's staying safe. And once again, happy shooting until next time. Take care.